Hey everybody, it's Jonathan, Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. I bid you welcome. Tonight's video post is going to be an outdoor kitchen analysis on a project that finally wrapped up this summer. This particular outdoor kitchen is in Armock, New York in Westchester County and um, took, a, took quite a while to put together but the end results are nothing short of spectacular. In this particular setup, the customer purchased two, two Ring of Fire outdoor kitchen islands. The first island was going to be uh, built for his cooking, and the second island had a twofold existence. One was going to be for his cool zone, his refrigeration and his kegerator, as well as a sink. <clears throat> and, uh, well, it's actually not a sink, it's a drop in ice bucket. Um, that could be a sink if you wanted it to be. And on the back side of it, there is bar seating. So uh, not a tremendous amount of space, but he used it uh, quite well. And uh, he's, tinkled, he's tickled pink about the end results. So let's talk about what we did here. Both of these runs, it's a straight run. I want to say it was about like nine-ish feet. Um, I don't have it in front of me right now. I'm just going off memory. But um, the, the first part, which is the cooking zone, the hot zone, he's got a 36 inch Series 9 DCS grill. He's got a DCS side burner. And then on the other side, he's got a Gosney dome, um, propane. Well, it's not really a hybrid oven. You could do propane or burn wood in there for his pizza making um, desires. That's gonna take care, and underneath the grill, he's got his ADR 236 uh, drawers, um, and um, he's piping liquid propane through there. I don't think he's using 20 pound tanks. I think he's piped from a large tank uh, from the house. So moving to the other side, right, he has a drop-in ice bin, which could also be a sink, but he didn't put a faucet to run water to it. He has a, um, a DCS kegerator as well as a DCS refrigerator, okay? I think there's, there's also trash drawers in here somewhere as well. So he was very, very particular. He wanted the hot zone for cooking and really nobody hanging over there. And then he wanted his cool zone where he could serve drinks, people could grab wine out of that ice bucket that's built into the countertop. Uh, the trash is over there as well and kind of keep the traffic on that side, away from the cooking, and he's got the seating on the back side. As far as the island makeup, <clears throat> again, we built the structure, and because and we ha he had to use the ROF island solution because this is on his deck, and when you're uh, building on a deck, you can't build the structures out of uh, stone, masonry, whatever. <clears throat> so, two ROF island solutions, and what he did was, he clad them in Ipe, and they look beautiful. I mean, and this guy, this poor guy, man, he waited so long for this wood to arrive. I want to say nine months and probably paid through the nose for it because this was done at the height of all the supply chain nonsense that was going on and the price of timber. I mean, this is this is like, um, like I don't know, late summer 2020-ish. Um, is when things started getting rolling, but I know he played a, paid an arm and a leg for the for the wood. But my gosh, it looks so good. And what he did was he um, he used Decton countertops that I think he procured from Equistone in Yorktown. Luis over there does a phenomenal job with uh, Decton countertops. So looking at his house, which is like white and black, kind of got that like modern barn type of uh, feel to it. Um, the kind of modern vibe of the island with the Epe and the Decton, which is a look that we see all over the Hamptons. And we see it on rooftops in New York City. Not so much in Westchester backyards, but this does play well with the look of his house. And he's got that modern railing around the deck as well. It looks awesome. And with this setup, he can really do anything he wants in terms of cooking. He's got the kick-ass grill, he's got the side burner, he's got the Gosney dome. All my friend needs, and he does share the same name as I do, my friend Jonathan, all he needs is a smoker, and we're ready to deliver one 
when he's ready. Um, I really, if there's anything that I would change about this island, I probably would have given, um, you know, I mean, well, I would want to have more room between the islands to walk and to operate. The problem was he could not move the second island out further from the other one because it was going to block the egress into the house, the door into the house, which I think were sliding doors. So he really was like very, very committed to the spacing um, that he had to place these islands in. Like we made it work. Um, ideal world, there would have been a little, there would have been a little more breathing room in between them, but he's fine. Um, there are pictures on the Ring of Fire website with some further commentary from me. If you have any questions about this build out, please email me at questions at rofgrills.com. And um, as I speak to you now, we're in mid-December. Folks have already been getting their plans together, putting deposits down for next spring. If you have any intention of having an outdoor kitchen built by Memorial Day 2023, you best get moving. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.